Alright, so, new video. I know it's been a while. There are a couple of things to blame for that. Mainly, the fact that I work for a living. But also, I was a little embarrassed about how bad at this I am. I've actually had a few of those little Cory cats that I had die on me. I replaced them, and the new ones are uh, doing much better. Um, three of those deaths <laughs> were... Uh, are still as yet unexplained. I have a feeling that it had to do with my water hardness. I know it wasn't ammonia or nitrites or nitrates or anything like that. Um, I don't know. It was. I just. I suspect my hardness. It, my, it should be within range. I've tested it. It is a little on the soft side, but who knows? Anyway. Um, my, you'll notice my plants have sort of taken off, um, especially this Amazon sword back here. He used to be much bigger, but I actually had to end up, ended up cutting him down just to the, uh, I don't know, is that a rhizome or whatever that is, the root um, thing. And uh, the, um, I don't know, it's just looking really good. All my plants have I've uh, started to thrive in here, which is really cool. Um, I got these black neon tetras. I like them a lot. They seem to be, to be very active and hardy, and uh, they're they're just fun to watch. And I also got these bleeding heart tetras, which have been a little bit grumpy. They can they kind of nip at each other, and I don't know about them. I have three more, but they're in the quarantine tank right now. Uh, because I'm ashamed to say I had a little fungus, which you can see growing there. It's dying now because, um, I'll admit, I, I mean, I was doing weekly water changes, but clearly that wasn't enough. Um, and I just need to figure out the right rhythm for doing this. So, um, that's, I'm working it out though. My water quality is slowly improving. You can tell right now it's pretty dirty, which... Again, I'm a little embarrassed by, but I've ordered a second filter. Um, that one should be enough. It's like it's, it claims to be good for 300 gallons, and this is a, I mean, 300 gallons an hour or whatever. And uh, this is a 29 gallon tank, so I don't know. Maybe I just haven't cleaned the filter cartridge enough. Um, I'm thinking that with this second filter, I can just completely replace one filter at a time. And that way I won't have to worry about recycling every time and I don't know. We'll see how well how well that works. I also got these uh ghost shrimp, which I love. These guys are really cool. Um I don't know, I just like them. They wave their little antennae around and eat leftover food. They're pretty cool little guys. But uh yeah, I found out my um Corey's actually really like this uh, cave I built, so that was a pleasant surprise. They hang out in there all the time. And also my uh, driftwood has this little nook in here, and uh, they really like hanging out back there too. It's nice and dark, and the, there are the bubbles back there and everything, so, yeah. And uh, anyway, so there's not much else to show you, but... Um, so there's the update and I'm going to try to get back to more regular videos hopefully you document the improvement of my water quality and all that stuff and I apologize to all of you out there who are totally disappointed in the way that I've handled this so far but I've been trying and uh, I'm learning as I go so anyway as I said these videos are mostly for me anyway sorry about my shoddy camera work there Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.